Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Balthazar and I am going to be unboxing today the Reaper Paints or Reaper Miniatures Learn to Paint Kit number one. We're going to see what's inside here and what all comes in it. It says Learn to Paint Kit core skills include base coat, washing, dry brushing. It says it has three Bones miniatures, two Master Series brushes, and 11 Master Series paints. This is their Learn to Paint Kit number one. We're going to open it up and see what it has inside. So, keep watching. Alright, and here we go. The Learn to Paint Kit. Core skills, base coat, washing and dry brushing. Says so it's our top selling product. Probably is. This is Learn to Paint Kit. Includes all the tools you need to paint the Reaper way. This kit includes three Bones miniatures, two Master Series brushes, 11 Master Series paints, and a detailed set of instructions by award winning, award -winning painter Rhonda Bender. This comes in a nice hard plastic case. Got the little Reaper symbol right here. Nice little mold of detail. Got the little bones guy up there in the corner. On the back, tells you the same thing. This is Learn to Paint Kit, three unpainted minis, and all that stuff. Lists all that's all the what kit includes. It says it contains Reaper Core Colors, Professional Series, and Reaper Bones Ultra Colors. And then it says over here you got the legal mumbo jumbo. This is not a toy, not for children under ages 14 years of age. This product contains small components and should be considered a choking hazard. And it repeats that in five other languages. So, all in all, nice so far on the outside. Let's open up and see what's inside. This has got nice clamshell packaging, so it just opens up and locks pretty securely. And inside we have the detailed instructions. Uh, it tells you what the three minis are. Three miniatures are the Skeleton Archer, the Orc Marauder, and Magnu Timar. All unpainted white plastic miniatures. It includes two brush sizes, the size two flat, and the zero round. Oh, there we go. The instructions it tells you what paints are included inside. Got leather brown, pure black, polished silver, harvest brown, candlelight yellow, naga green, desert sand, mountain stone, dragon white, blade steel, and dragon blue. Nice. Oh, it tells you how to take care of your tools. And the miniatures included. I think it's funny in the instruction booklet it tells you it includes one instruction booklet. <laughs> Let's see here. Reaper green pones, Master Series paints, how to use and care, Reaper brushes. It tells you what size they are and including how to take care of them. Nice. Little tips and tricks here. It says if you use an old hobby brush or tip of the handle or end of your brush to mix your paints, it says not to use the paint brushes themselves, the tips, the bristles to mix your paints because it will wear them out faster. It's a handy little tip. It just continues on telling you little tips and tricks. Oh, see right there, Mr. Bones tip, bonus tip. How to tells you how to place your miniatures to have a better hold on them including the mixing paint guide and then it gets right into it the instructions are pretty detailed from the looks of it even to, from the little bonus tips and step by step showing you exactly what it's supposed to look like when it's done so flip through it Finishing details should change over pretty neat. 
No, it doesn't do this. It tells you step by step how to paint the skeleton archer and showing you each picture through the step. But it doesn't do that for the orc marauder or the mangu timar. Instead, it, what it does tell you is um, what paints you should use for each step and then basically just lets you practice on your own, which is a pretty good thing. It's got a glossary index telling you what's in there more colors available. You can also see in here a secondary learn to paint kit. That's the learn to paint kit number two, layer up is what it's called. And then on the back you get the bonus. It tells you more stuff. It includes another miniature you can get from their site. Vaja the Fire Giant Queen. Nicely detailed. Naturally, it won't actually look like that, the one you get. That's just what it could look like if you paint it up. So that's it for the instructions. And what else we got in here? Let's start with the minis. And here's the skeleton archer. That is some serious de level of detail. I mean, look how big this guy is. <laughs> He's a little tiny thing. But the molded detail is very, very nice. Got a hair on there. You can see the quiver of arrows, the strap that holds everything together, and then you got the bow. See individual ribs and fingers. That is very nicely detailed. This one here. And here's the orc marauder. Again, very nicely molded detail. You can see he's wearing chain mail, some plates. Got his blade there. <laughs> you may not be able to see it on camera, but he's even got a snarl on his face. That is very cool. And over here, we got Timar. I know I'm not saying his name correctly. <laughs> Again, you know, just like the level of detail on these miniatures is very good. Actually, it gets pretty crazy at some points. <laughs> you can almost see like runes carved into the sword. Got some great detail. Got a little dagger there on his hip. Very nice. And that's it for the miniatures. Gonna have to paint them up one of these days. And then of course you got the paint brushes right here. Both are included in this. You got the flat two and the rounded one. And on the back it also tells you other brush sizes available. Very nice. It says here these are Ma Reaper Master Series. Kolinsky Sable Brushes it means it's high quality red sable. That's a fur type. That's a real hair on those brushes. Not synthetic. And then of course right here we have the colors. And this is Dragon Blue Master Series Paint. That's what the MSP stands for. Master Series Paints. High density pigment. Half ounce bottle. Water soluble, shake well. Water soluble it means you can dilute it with water. You don't need a thinner. And this one is dragon white. Very nice. Another little bottle. Made in the USA. That's one good thing about all this stuff. You know, it's all made in the USA. This is desert sand. Again, very nice. Here we have Mountain Stone. That's a darker color. Kind of a darker gray, not quite black. Got Blade Steel. Can't really quite see it, but it has a bit of a metallic sheen to it, so that's a metallic color right there. Naga Green. That's actually quite bright green. Not real dark, not real but, you know, it's got a nice bright color to it. I like that. Got the Harvest Brown. 
Actually, it looks like the color of cinnamon. <laughs> Polished silver. That's another metallic paint. That's a bright, nice, bright one. And then you got pure black right here. That is dark black. <laughs> And this is leather brown. That has almost a metallic quality to it, too. That's nice. Then finally, candlelight yellow. Now that is bright. That is a bright color. Now, one thing I said about all these paints is that um, they're, they dry matte, so there's no glossy coloring to them. Oh, bounce the camera there. That means once it's finished, it's one of those colors that will absorb light rather than reflect it. So you don't have that kind of new plastic glossy color to it. You can do actually do quite a bit with matte coloring more than you can glossy coloring. So there we go. All in all, I think this will be quite useful and quite enjoyable. All right. I think that's it for this. Alright, well thank you for watching and sticking around with me. And if you stay tuned, next time we'll be looking at this guy. Or rather unboxing, Kingdom Rectonite. So stick around and enjoy.